Happy holidays, my friends. If you're looking for a better way to organize your holiday, you're coming to the right place. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I take the stress out of the Christmas planning. The first template I have here is called a pre-Christmas checklist. And basically what that is, is to have those items listed here that you normally forget, things that you just don't think of during that time frame. And when you do think of it, it's like you barely made it or it's too late. This pre-Christmas checklist I use like in October time frame, several months before the Christmas season even starts. And it's broken down in four sections. We have looking ahead, stocking stuffer ideas, decorating planner, and event scheduler. So in the looking ahead section, this section is to look ahead to those items that you need to take care of if you're traveling or if you have an event that you need to purchase tickets for or anything like that. So the first four items I listed already on here and then you have some blank lines to use to put your own events and things in that nature that you want to put on here. But the first one I have is make holiday travel arrangements. It's always best to do that early. I know you guys know that and we know this, but for some odd reason, we're too busy and it's always late or we get the high expensive tickets or we can't get the seat we want or what have you. So I have that listed here so we can get that taken care of way in advance and save some money. Purchase tickets for holiday events. This is a must if you do this early, if you want those great seats at the great price. And especially for us, we go to the Nutcracker Ballet every year and that can get pretty expensive if you wait too late to get those tickets. So I like to get this out of the way months in advance before the actual ballet takes place in November. The next one is family holiday outfits. Now this we do not think of until the day before or the day of. And for me, I like to have that out of the way. And especially if you have children, this is a great thing for me. Those outfits are set aside, ready for the event itself or for the holiday. Schedule hair appointment. Now, ladies, you know this better than anyone that if you schedule your beautician hair appointment before the holiday season sets in, you can get in and get your hair done. If you wait too late, you know she is busy around this time frame so get that done so that's basically what looking ahead is is to get those little bitty nitpicky items out of the way that is very very important and have them done before the hectic schedule of the holiday sets in the next thing we have is stocking stuffers now this is another thing that I'd be running around trying to get taken care of because I waited too late Amazon gift cards Starbucks gift cards a stylus pen, headphones, stylish phone case, children books, travel mugs, mini pocket toolkit, bookstore gift cards, reusable K cup, specialty tea set, golf tea set, mason jar hot chocolate kit, travel cord case, cell phone charms, aromatherapy bath gift sets, dry erase crayons. Now I try to cover kids, boys and girls, and adults male and female in here. And these just some ideas that I have down here um, that would be some great stocking stuffers. Next thing we have that I love is this decorating planner section. This is great to have to jot down those things that you need for your tablescape for your door decorations, for your mantle decorations, and for your staircase decorations. And basically you just write down these things on these lines that's provided or what items you need or materials you need. And right at the bottom, there's a cost sheet where you can write down how many you need, the merchandise, the location to purchase it, and also the cost. So this is a great little decorating planner to have on this pre-Christmas checklist. And the last thing here is the event scheduler. This is nice. It's great to plan for those events in advance and you talk to your family about it and see what they want to do. You can write them down. We have the event, we have the date, the cost of the ticket or the event, 
and if it's been paid for. So that's what the pre-Christmas checklist. This template is one of my favorite. I even have it inside my party planner binder. It's everything I need in, on one sheet of paper and I can just easily take it and put it in my planner. I have everything I need right here. It is divided into several sections and there are checklists that's on the left side. On the right side is menu, supplies, entertainment and rentals, alcohol and mixes. Right at the top is where you begin, where you decide what date you want your party, what kind of theme or color you want, and then you have the place of the venue. So this is where you will start. Then we move on the left-hand side with the weekly checklist. So starting with the first segment, which is the six to the four weeks, we have gather ideas, supplies for games, research venue and vendors, inventory game prizes, inventory party eating supplies, inventory serving dishes and utensils, research entertainment, create and mail invitations. So this is where you start getting together the logistics of the party. All the calling around and researching and creating your invitations. That's for the four to six weeks segment and then we move down to the four two weeks and we have book any entertainment create buffet centerpieces stock coffee bar with the holiday treat polish silverware and your silver platters prepare or set up holiday tablescapes and then i left a few lines just in case you want to add some other items that you need to put there for the four to two weeks margin and then the next segment here is your one week where you will stock your wine cellar or your bar, stock mixes for drinks, decorate, set up the powder room, and set out an inventory dinnerware. And then you have a few lines under that. The day before, we'll set up the buffet or dining table, pick up a delivery, any party rentals or platters, prepare a buffet for the food, and then you have a couple of lines after that to add anything that you would like. Then the last segment is the day of the party where you play your Christmas playlist or you set that all up. You set the atmosphere for your guests, put parting gifts by the front foyer, and then there's a couple of lines under that. So that's the checklist. Now on the other, the right side is the actual writing it down. So we're getting with the menu. We have appetizers, sides, entrees, and dessert. In this segment here is your supplies. Any supplies that you may need for food or just your supplies that you may need for your decorations. And then your entertainment and rentals you have. And then the last section is your alcohol and the mixers that you may need when you did your inventory. I try to condense it as much as I could. All the important things that you probably would want um, to put on paper and a few lines that you can add your own little things that you may want to remember. So that's the holiday party checklist. Okay, so now we come to the last two templates, which is a month at a glance. This is December month, and it's in two pages. So if you put it in your planner, it will lay open just like this. I love this. It turned out so nicely. It has the deer silhouette on both of the sheets here on both of the cameras. It goes from Sunday to Saturday. The squares are big enough that you can put whatever schedule or whatever items you want to put on your calendar. And I love this part right here. This is the special part that I like that I want to show you. Right here on the far right side, I added some little fun things that you can do during the Christmas holidays. It's called Tips and Dupes. Try these upcycle holiday DIYs. Upcycle an old Christmas card for holiday music CD jackets. Now I've done this. A great way to upcycle your Christmas cards and use them. The next thing is use the decorative side of an old Christmas card as thank you notes. The next thing I have is take the photos out of your everyday frames and replace them with leftover wrapping paper or those free holiday printables that you can get 
on uh, Pinterest. Now that is a easy and inexpensive way to create art for the holidays. The next thing I have is make an extra helping of your evening meals to freeze and have during the hectic holiday shopping and errands before Christmas. I like doing this because we are so busy during this time of the year. This way you can just go in the freezer and pop it in the oven and it is done. Great idea to do. And then lastly, right at the bottom here, for those who love to have Christmas or holiday cocktails, this one is called Rudolph Spritzer. And basically you start with five cups of orange juice, two cups of chilled lemon and lime soft drink, like uh, Sprite or Mountain Dew, uh, one and a half cups of vodka, one fourth cup of maraschino cherry juice, and a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. And you mix this all up and you take a glass and put some ice in it, pour it over that. And then you can garnish it with sliced uh, lemons, oranges, and fresh rosemary. This is so good. I love serving this during the um, entertainment when I do for the holidays and my girls over. They love this. I have it all the time. And I thought this would be a great addition. If you don't um, want alcohol in it, you can take the alcohol and substitute it with another cup of orange juice or soda and it would taste just as well. This will conclude this Christmas holiday organization for this week. For more organization, decorating, and sneak peeks, follow me on my social media where I will upload a copy of my template for you to use this holiday season. Keep checking on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for the announcement when the templates will be available. I'll see you soon. Happy Holidays!